Hello guys, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Wrestling With Books, and welcome back to Bookmas in July. Don't mind Buster, my cat's paper palace there, where cat people here. And even though I am filming this on the 4th of July, I'm going to be talking about a Christmas read today because, you know, it's Bookmas in July. Bookmas is a take on Vlogmas where YouTubers post a video every day. Haley in Bookland coined it Bookmas for booktubers where booktubers post book content every day and I am doing it in July this year and the book I want to talk about is called The Christmas Bookshop by Jenny Colgan and I've read actually another book of hers The Bookshop on the Corner and that's how I felt about that one. This one I really liked and I'm excited to tell you about it. So different bookshop, not, not the same bookshop as, as the other book. And this book tells the story of a girl named Carmen. Carmen works in, and it takes place in Scotland. Carmen works at a department store and her mother doesn't love that and neither does her perfect lawyer sister. They're a bit hard on her and more so when she loses that department store job. So Sophia, Carmen's sister, ends up finding a job for Carmen working for Mr. McCready's bookstore. And the term bookstore I'm going to say loosely because he really is just a hoarder and he had inherited the shop and money from his family and now all the funds are pretty much gone unless he can find a way to make the shop make money. Carmen's sister Sophia is his lawyer so she is the one who decides to recommend Carmen for this job. So Carmen kind of goes in on her own. She has to stay with her sister too who has three kids. She's nine months pregnant and has a hipster nanny who's always kind of belittling Carmen for having sugar and things like that and that's a really funny dynamic and the nanny's name is Skylar and Jenny Colgan's work writing that character is very funny and I think a lot of people will appreciate it. What I liked about this book, Carmen is just so relatable. I pictured Carmen looking like the YouTuber Cherry Wallace. Let me know if you've ever watched her. And I pictured Mr. McCready looking like Stephen Fry. But as she works through this bookstore, she meets two different people. One is a very famous self-help author who's kind of ingenuine. He's a very funny character as well. And while Carmen likes the idea of of having finally something to brag about, right? Like, wow, maybe this author, this best-selling author is interested in me. She also meets Oak, Oki, Oki, who is a tree doctor. I don't know if you could be a doctor of trees, but that's like his specialist. There was a term for it in the book and I don't remember it, but she has great banter with both of these guys. But as I alluded to, one is more the person she's interested in for showing off purposes and one is a bit more genuine. So there's also a plot line with Mr. McCready, the shop owner, and why he's been so reclusive about his family. You get the sister dynamic of Sophia and Carmen not being close because pretty much they both always think the other is judging them. Sophia is judged by Carmen for how she, for what she's achieved with no regard for how she's achieved it by working. And Carmen feels Sophia is judging her for not doing enough or being perfect like Sophia is in Carmen's eyes you get the stuff with the nanny Skylar, which is hilarious. And then you have romance going on in here, all while it's taking place at Christmas. So the bookshop is trying to take advantage of that this is happening during Christmas time so they can get sales up. And Carmen decides to have it carry specialty Christmas books because Mr. McCready's collection dates back for so long. I'm looking at Buster in the viewfinder down there. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Tommy too. Look at that bonus. Buster. Um, 
So that's where you get your Christmas element. There are Christmas fairs, Muppets Christmas carols mentioned heavily in this. This is a really fun, contemporary Christmas breed that if you like women's fiction and contemporary romances, I would add this to your Christmas reading list. But I had quite a fine time reading it in July. Thank you for tuning in to this book review as part of my book miss in July. I'll be back with another video tomorrow or you can also check out my other channel, Wrestling with Disney. I'll have some videos popping up now that you can consider watching as well. See you tomorrow, guys.